We're going to learn how to hack with ChatGPT using RAG, understand what RAG is, and I'll share a custom prompt for mimicking RAG with ChatGPT, Claude, and Google Gemini. Plus, before the end of this video, we'll set up a free AI home lab to hack with RAG. Here we go. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Here's the prompt to get ChatGPT to provide a better response using RAG. Now, you might be thinking, doesn't ChatGPT already use RAG? In fact, don't Claude and Gemini and other famous LLMs already use RAG? Well, the answer is yes. But a good prompt can take it even further. We give ChatGPT a role, specify a task, provide context, and request the kind of responses we want. And now let's test it. Which versions of Apache Tomcat are vulnerable and exploitable? Vulnerable and exploitable versions of Apache Tomcat. High profile vulnerabilities in Apache Tomcat. Actively exploited versions. Summary of exploitable versions. Recommendations. Seems to be working fine, which is expected. But the problem is, it's kind of fake. It's not really true rag. See, ChatGPT is just mimicking RAG in this case, which still gets you pretty decent results, by the way. The real way, though, would be to use the OpenAI API or the enterprise membership with a RAG pipeline, which unfortunately costs money. But I'm not here to make you pay in cash and big bills, so let's set up a home lab. Now, before you get ready to hack someone's Bitcoin or crypto wallet, which you should never really do, let's understand what RAG is. Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, is a way for large language models like ChatGPT, Claude, or Gemini to respond more accurately to questions using a trusted source or a dedicated source. The way it all works is you provide quality data. It could be in the form of images, audios, text, PDF, anything really, which is then converted into vector embeddings. Next, the vector embeddings are stored and placed in a database known as a vector database. And that's what is used as a reference each time the LLM responds to your queries. And finally, it's time to set up a custom AI lab. Let's say you're an ethical hacker and want to set up your own home RAG lab on your laptop or computer. All you have to do is pick one or more hacking databases from the well-known ones. In our case, it's ExploitDB and follow these steps. Step one, download the exploit database. Two, Download and install your local AI app. In my case, I went with ChatGPT for all, but there are others, so pick whatever suits you best. Step three, convert the CSV file into a form that our app can read without crashing. That's a key point. And we can do this by breaking down the results into smaller chunks. Step four, pick a large language model that we're gonna use. I downloaded DeepSeek. That's right, take that open AI. Step five, upload a sample from our files. I went ahead with 30 files. Six, the files are now converted into vector embeddings. And now we're ready to test it all. We select our files that should be referenced. We pick our model that we already have from the list. In our case, that's DeepSeek. And now let's test out a query. Mind you, getting a response can take time depending on the speed of your computer. And there we have it. The AI app has created a simple and basic RAG setup. The challenge with this is, though, you really need a high-end laptop or computer. Otherwise, chatting with your local AI app is kind of horribly slow and annoying. But hey, at least it all works. If you want more customization and better results, we could use Langchain or Olama and set up a RAG pipeline connected to an LLM, customize it as we please, and set it all up. Now, if that's what you'd like to see next, let me know in the comments section. Hey, don't forget to like and sub. Thanks for watching.